Hello, I just have a quarter of an hour here, December the 5th, before I'm going to bridge, so I thought I could work a little on problem 18. I actually thought that this was what they used in the proof, so I thought that was quite clear as it was, but let's look at it. And that's just the module spanned by one and square root minus one. And the units are plus minus one, plus minus i. And if we go up to 2 plus i, plus 2i, so that's the lattice, and 2 is a square of, well, it is a principal ideal domain, so, um, 1 plus i squared equals uh, 2i and multiplying by the unit minus i gives 2 so that's very easy and now let's take out those that any element not in the ideal 1 plus i so we just take out the the, ide the elements in 1 plus i and it has a unique associate which is congruent to 1 modulo 2i plus. So we have 1 here, meaning we, uh, we usually use green for that, do we not? Meaning this one is okay. And which other do we have? Uh, red for those that are not. This one is not. So this ah uh, that's that's bad to use the same red. That was I didn't think very much there. So the. Now let's just uh, do the blue ones, and then we go a little around. So we need to have the associates of this guy. Let's make him green. I mean, damn it. I mean, instead of proving it, let's just... Uh, show it, we multiply by i, I didn't do that very well,
and this guy we make uh, I don't know what that is called and this and I we already have And there we just had one. So two eyes down there. That's the red ones. There we have it. So we can just check it. If we take this guy, um, no, this guy, the green guy, it's not too, uh, this one is not, this one is okay, this one is not, this one is okay as well. Oh. That's one plus two I. Uh, actually, this guy doesn't die there, so we have to check that for itself. And this guy, neither does this guy. It was just a mistake. It's two plus two I. I made the same mistake when I studied the, uh, sec the section first. So it's only these five. These two are not part of it. So this one is not okay. This one is not okay. This one is okay. This one isn't. And of this, only this one. And of this, this one is. This one isn't. This one isn't. So it is exactly one. And the proof is uh, checking. I just go through the, uh, the uh, individual numbers. There might be a bright way of doing it, but I don't know it. Well, Let's say that's A and go to B. So they are so friendly to write up the integers in this number field. And it's well known that minus omega squared or minus omega bar is a uh, sixth root of unity and that's all there, is, there are so that's the roots of unity and uh, here we go modulo 3 all right so we just draw it again And we have omega here. And I'll just uh, write it in its right place. So we like do again the normal, this is called Arkin diagram. So it's here.
So we have the prime ideal square root minus 3. Omega is the square of that prime ideal. Show that the ideal 3 and is this ah uh, yeah 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 so i squared is minus three and the units are of course omega uh, omega uh, minus omega bar omega minus one etc so this is equal to three any alpha So let's check modulo 3. So that goes up to 3 omega. 1, 2, 3 omega. And then we have to have a minimal So modulo 3 we go up to one and a half each way so ah, we should have taken the negative ones as well that would have been bright wouldn't it So how many do we need? If we start here, minus one, minus one. Oh, that, there's no number here. Minus one to two. One, two, three. But it's actually three omega. One, two omega. We, oh, we must add two omega. So going from here, one, two, three omega. So we need not take that into account. And going from here, adding one, two. So we need not take three into account. So these are the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, there, should, there need only be three, so I went a little too far here, we need not take this one, um, minus one, naught, one, uh, neither need we two, One, two, three. There we go. That's the ones we need to check. Minus one, not one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. So we start checking out. The guys that are. Uh, congruent to 1 modulo 3. Um, that is actually equal to 1 and that's this guy. And then we multiplied by 
um, we take the ones here now why are they blue Oh, they are the associates. Now oh, that was silly um, because so we need to show that they each have an associate which is congruent to one module three. And they m may not all lie here, of course. Uh, one modulo three there we have a guy up here we have a guy here and uh, one two three so we have a guy here omega squared yeah. Now, it was three omega. Well, that's not the guy. This is the guy. We have three omega. One, two, three. Oh, this is the guy. And we have uh, minus omega bar, one, two, three, plus one, minus three, plus two. I think we should have this guy as well. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, minus one, minus two, minus three. I. Uh, what what do we have up here? That's a little unclear to me. Well, time's passed. Gotta go. Hello again. December the sixth. I thought a little about it when I was falling asleep, and now that I look at what I did, I can see that this is totally wrong. I mean, the, it goes this here and here, here and here. So these are wrong, going from minus two to four, not two, by multiplying by the units, not very good. <clears throat> well, um, another thing was that um, this condition, a unit times alpha, let's go black, Uh, minus one lies in the ideal then we multiply by uh, the inverse of the unit and uh, unit times the ideal is the same And that, I think this is the better uh, condition to work with. 
immediately we see that uh, the units here, as I already started up here, um, they have fulfilled this condition in the uh, fundamental domain. Let's call that F. So, what about the two that doesn't? And there, it's ele any element not in uh, this ideal. And square root minus 3 equals omega minus omega bar. And if we uh, go down here, that is multiplying by minus omega bar. Um, yeah, that gives unity, so minus unity, all right, and omega bar squared, well, we know omega squared plus omega plus one vanishes, because it's a third root of, root of unity, so it's uh, omega bar plus one, So it gives what? It, it can't give a unit, come on. Well, let's do it geometrically. Omega bar squared, that's omega. Omega squared is omega bar, yeah. Well, then we multiply by plus omega bar. Then we get one plus omega. So that's that's this guy. And the other, of course, is one plus omega bar. <clears throat> one plus omega bar should be, I think it's one minus, one minus omega bar. It must be one minus omega bar. And this must be one minus omega. So, omega minus omega bar, that's square root 3, and then we ah, we must multiply it with minus omega. My god, that was really complicated. This is wrong anyway. <coughs> I don't want to do those details while recording. The next thing is that we should uh, generalize it. So take any, any guy out here, then we transpose it to lie in the fundamental domain. And so we have any A not lying in uh, our ideal 
which is generated by let's just say square root 3 minus 1. So we make a new guy by first taking the real value down to lie between minus 1 and up to 2 not being 2. And then we move the uh, imaginary part to lie between, yeah, what do we write there? So it's uh, minus this guy, minus omega, to plus omega. subtracting something times omega. Now this guy lies in the fundamental domain and it cannot be equal to these two Why can't that be? Then I would have that B light were lying there, that A was lying there as well. So if B is one of those two, ah, we do it uh, by three. So we have three possibilities, so we can just uh, do let m and n be, or the number that we choose is a multiple of three. So that means that if a lies in our ideal, then b does as well. Or rather, if b does, then a does as well, so b doesn't. And that means that we can write B as a unit plus the ideal of 3. This lies in the ideal of 3 as well. There's an element of. And then multiplying by u, And again, we use that the ideal multiplied by a unit is the ideal itself. Here it's sufficient that it's a, a, a part of it. I've been using that a number of times. It is quite easy. If we have an ideal and a unit, it has an inverse. And per the definition of an ideal, this is a subset of I itself. And per the definition, this is a subset of the ideal itself. So we have a sequence, a tower of ideals here, and the bottom and the top are equal. So that means that they are equal. Yeah. So I made that a little complicated. And it's obvious that these guys are units uh, plus, yeah. So it's only those two that naught and these two that gives problems. And that's six plus three that gives nine, which we have in the fundamental domain. I believe that nails it.